Hey what's up, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and in this video I'm going to show you how to install packages into Atom to extend its functionality outside of what's just included right out of the box. So let's get going on that right now. So if you're used to many other modern text editors, you'll know that one of the best parts about using a modern text editor is the ability to extend it with whatever sort of plugins the community has created. Now, Adam is no different in that regard, and Adam's package management system that comes built in is very nice. What we can do is come to Adam and then Preferences. Now within Preferences, we just need to head to Packages. Now what we can do here is we can filter through our, our installed packages and you can see just how many packages come with Atom out of the box. Now most of these are Atom core packages. You can see they all have this Atom logo. You can see about useful information about your Atom installation, archive view, autocomplete Atom API, autocomplete CSS. Now these are great. And what's awesome about Atom is that it actually gives you the ability to disable any of these plugins. Think about we have about Atom right here, gives us information about our Atom installation. If we were to disable this plugin, we were to come to about Atom, you'd see it's a totally blank page. I mean, this feature just flat out doesn't exist now. So you really have the ability to customize your Atom install, even down through the core packages themselves. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go crazy turning off a lot of these packages, but if there's something specifically like uh, that you weren't using ever and you don't really think that you'll ever need to use them, then go ahead and turn them off. I mean, they, there's no reason for them to be on. Uh, however, if you want to extend Atom and install some new plugins, now we have this install button right down here, which we've used before for our themes and color schemes. Now let's go ahead and grab a nice new package for our installation. Now this package is going to be, we're just gonna search for file icon, and I'll hit enter to start searching. And you can see that there's a lot of packages. Now the one I'm looking for actually isn't showing up here. Let's try researching this time for file hyphen icons. Now it's a little annoying that when I search for file icon, it didn't show up. However, if you do search for file hyphen icons, you can see that there is an extension right here. Now we can click install. And this is going to install us a brand new file icon package. Now you can see upon immediately finishing the install, we now have some icons over here in the left hand side of our screen, which is where our project is. Now, the reason I chose this package is because honestly, it's one I feel like you can't live without. Now that may be a little extreme, but just how much nicer is it to have an HTML5 logo over here by your HTML5 files and a CSS3 logo by your CSS files. In addition, there's support for a ton of different file icons. If you wanted to go ahead and click on this, you can see that there are icons for all sorts of files. Anything from Gulp to SAS, Stylus, JavaScript, uh, just an absolute ton of icons here. And now what's great is you could totally customize them yourself with CSS if you'd like even. As you can see, it even gives you the classes that you can use to customize your file icon with the overrides in CSS. Now one feature I really, really like about Atom is this, this package added 416 milliseconds to startup time. So it really allows you to see the full weight of what you're adding. For instance, if you add a ton of different packages and your Atom is feeling sluggish, it might be time to head into your packages and see which ones are your heaviest and which ones you really need the most. Most applications that are extended through plugins will never really tell you uh, what that weight of those plugins are. But luckily for us, Adam lets us know just how much time each of these things is adding to our startup. Cool, so we've now added a package, we've disabled a package, 
And I won't go as far as uninstalling this because I want to keep this package, but when you do, you can just click uninstall and it's gone from your machine for whenever. This is package management in Atom. It's awesome, it's easy, it has a great interface, and it's really easy to find new packages. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in this video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. If you want to help support Level Up Tutorials, consider signing up for Level Up Pro and gain access to new series with early access upon their completion instead of just their release date. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.